Hi YouTube. For this video I'm going to be looking at the Victorinox Trailmaster. I've actually borrowed it from my grown-up son. It was a knife that I gave him uh, for Christmas a couple of years ago and it's a knife that he uses a lot. I think I might have previously referred to this as the Soldier uh, 08 so um, it is very similar to this, but it has different scales, um, rubberized scales, the Soldier 8, and it doesn't have the scale tools. So this is the Trail Master. Just one thing before we start is that it does have a locking blade, so it's not UK legal carry. However, um, it is okay if you have it in a toolbox um, or if you're using it at work but I, I certainly wouldn't just go out with this. Um, my son doesn't, he just uses it at work. Looking at the overall specifications, closed, it's 111 millimeters or about four and a quarter inches. It's 18 millimeters wide, that's about 11 sixteenths of an inch, and it weighs in at 130 grams, which is about four and a half ounces. In total, it has 12 functions, this version has the polyamide scales and it's in black, as you can see. Let's open it up and take a look at the blade. As you can see, it's a one hand opener or OHO. It does have a serrated blade, which I know a lot of people won't like. If you want to see a really great review about this, check out Felix Imler's channel. And he goes through a review of looking at very similar knives, one with a similar blade to this and one with a, a normal blade. Um, and it's, it's really well worth watching. So it's two thirds serrated and one third straight. It is a chisel grind, so it, it does tend to bite in, um, uh, to dig in if you're cutting through something. Overall, the blade is 80 millimeters long so that's just over three inches and it has this liner lock so as i said it's not strictly a uk legal carry but it, it's fine if it's in your toolbox or if you're using it at home or at work or, or camping i guess the liner lock is, is slightly strange it operates that that way there's a clear sign on here i don't know if we can see that we, there's some writing on there which says press and that closes it and it closes it closes well within its section the blade is quite centered as well so it's a really nice one hand opening knife um, I actually like the serrated blade it does cut well um, my son uses it a lot for cutting through cardboard cardboard boxes and it works really well for that so that's the main blade let's move on to the saw blade so the saw blade is reached at the other end and it just extends past the bottom of the knife. You can see it here. I'm not quite sure how to describe that. I guess it's a sort of an offset double row of teeth. Uh, it does cut really well. It's not locking, but it's fairly firm. It's about 80 millimeters long. That's just over three inches. And, and uh, as I say, have a look at some of the channels. Again, look at Felix Imler's channel. He, he goes through some of the saw blades on Victorinox knives. But it, it's an excellent working saw. Let's test the saw. So here I have a stick that's about finger width. Let's see how quickly this gets through it. really easy without too much effort at all. Moving on to the screwdriver. Now this is a really seriously sized screwdriver. It also has a lock on it. You can see the liner lock there. It's really thick. I don't know if you can see that. So it could be used as a pry bar as well. It has a good cap lifter on and the wire stripper stroke bender as well. But it's, it's really substantial. 
I'll compare it later against the Pioneer X that I've got, um, uh, all of the tools, so you can see just how large this is. I, I don't think there are many uh, flat screws that you couldn't open with this. It would certainly, it would cope with opening a paint can or anything like that as well. Then on the other end, we have the can opener. As with all Victorinox can openers, this is really good. It's reasonably sharp, it can puncture through the tin well um, to open the tin or can. It also has a small flat head on the top and as with most of these you can also use it for some Phillips screws as well. But on this knife you don't need to do that because this knife comes with its own Phillips screwdriver. I wouldn't say it's in the best place. Um, you can use it like this for screws so you can get a decent torque on it um, it works fairly well, but only really for large Phillips screws. And then the final tool on the back is the awl. Um, again, it's not in the best position. I prefer the one on the Pioneer X, but it's still a good awl. It's got a sharp point and a sharp blade, so it can easily make a hole in wood uh, or leather. Let's try out the awl to see how well it goes through this stick. I'm really not putting much pressure on it at all. It's Yeah, I think we're just about through there. Go from the other side. So I think with a little bit of cleaning up, there's a very simple hole all the way through there. The only thing is, I'd like to compare this all with the one on the Pioneer X Alox. So this is mounted at the end. Neither of them have a lock, which means you have to be careful. If you look at the profile, um, I think that the Alox one is a little bit sharper. Let's, let's just give it a try. What I like about this one is that it's at the end of the knife, so it's much easier to twist it and to work it through, and it really does cut through this stick really quickly. I think that's through. So I would say that the Pioneer X, that the all on here is much easier to use and actually sharper. It probably gives a cleaner hole as well. So interesting to compare the two. Let me know what you think about them. So they're the main tools. Um, one of the things I've got to mention about the screwdriver is that it has got this half stop so you can use it in the high torque position if you really want to um, um, work on a screw. It also has the scale tools of course as with most of these so there's the toothpick and on the other side there are the tweezers. And the final tool according to Victorinox is the keyring. Um, but as you can see, you can take this off. I, I normally do with my knives. I can see my son has left this on. You could attach a lanyard to that as well if you want. So let's do a comparison with two other Swiss Army knives that I have, just to see how it compares. So there's the main blade. 
here we have my Pioneer X and just for comparison here is the Midnight Manager. It, it looks absolutely tiny compared to these two knives. So that's the main blade. We can also compare the other tools on this. So looking at the can opener, these are actually pretty much the same, I'd say. I think that the trail master on the right is maybe slightly thicker. Um, it, it could even be the same, actually. Yeah, I think it's probably the same. Looking at the other end, though, you can see there's quite a difference here in size. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure it shows up well on the video, but certainly the trail master has a thicker and larger flathead. You can also see the profile there is thicker, so it probably acts better as a pry bar. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Uh, it's a really good tool. It's certainly one of the larger Swiss Army knives. Just a reminder again, it, it's not strictly UK carry, so you'd have to be careful where you had this. Um, and it's, it's well worth watching um, Felix Imler's channel as well, because if you like this with a saw blade, uh, Felix also has a way of uh, storing one of the um, ferro rods um, in, in this sort of knife. And alternatively, you could replace the toothpick with one of the ferro rods for that. Hope you found this useful. Um, if you do, please hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, I'll be doing some more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.